some good rides on YouTube. So I'm here today because I have a word pretty much. So for the last like two years or year or so, um, I used to call my mom and wake up crying out of this same dream that I was continuing to have over and over. And in the dream, and I just recently had it three days ago, you should always write down your dreams and things that occur in your life because there are messages to get to wherever that you need to go. And you could be missing these messages. Or it can be a word from the Most High. Your spiritual ancestors telling you that something is ahead. So, I'm an empath and I can pick up on all types of energy. And with that being said, I'm also a light sleeper. Now, we all human. Of course, I don't pray every single day, but anytime I think, feel, or whatever the case may be, I make sure I pray. But for some strange reason, a few nights ago, I went to sleep. I woke up, and I was crying once again. And it scared the shit out of me. And I couldn't figure out what my dream was about until today. So basically, something worse, you know what I'm saying, then this pandemic is coming. It only gets worse before it gets better. I talk to my mom about things like this all the time. So I pretty much know, we know, of course, you know, she knows she been here long enough to know what's happening. She probably can't believe majority of the things that's occurring in this world. But like I said, I woke up and all I see is a brick building and I'm in somebody's neighborhood and I'm running for my life. Not just my life. My son was in it. There were faces I couldn't identify. People were just running. And it makes no sense to me. And it's funny how God can give you a dream about something. And you don't know what it means until you know what it means. So not only did I see that image, but in my previous uh, relationship with the ex lunatic or narcissistic person he was in my dream now he's deceased so why he came up first and then other people occurred and they in the dream running around and doing stuff it made no sense to me i was confused for three days and not scared but i knew something somebody trying to send me a message the most high trying to send me a message and sometimes he send you messages and dreams to uh fast to pray more to meditate more to repent um to prepare and all i seen was people running around and it's because people were losing their homes there is a shortage in food basically the things that's happening now but only worse a lot of people didn't make it a lot of people aren't going to make it in this lifetime there are going to be more deaths that is that may not even be pertained to this pandemic so with that being said your best bet is to stay close to the most high repent uh have a plan make sure you stocked up on everything that you need because you see what happened this time around nobody was prepared even in the state of texas nobody <laughs> was prepared for a snowstorm motherfuckers don't get snow like that so they don't know how to prepare. And a lot of, and I ain't going to say a lot, but quite a few people died just because they didn't know how to prepare for a fucking disaster. Because they ain't been through shit. But best believe that my spirit has been at uneasy for a minute. I'm noticing I am starting to stay by myself more. Spend peace and time and quality time with myself more i'm starting not to do the things that i once did before um things that i once found interesting they have they've been gone people probably around me think something is mentally wrong with me i'm thrown off no i'm awoke and i need to stay awoke 
and everybody ain't gonna make it, bruh. That dream scared the fuck out of me. People just running around. What kind of dream is that? Everybody looked like they was running around for help. Lost their cars, lost their they finances, their businesses. Uh, some people using losing their children, their loved ones. It's deep, bro. It's nothing to play with. Spirit don't play when he send you a message. The most I don't play when messages are sent to you in dreams. Not everybody can have dreams. Not everybody have dreams. But when I have a dream... The most high trying to tell me something. And it's only going to get worse. It's only going to get worse. And if you're not sitting here, uh, you sitting here going through your life daily like shit will always stay the same. It'll never be the same, bro. It'll never be the same. So you have to fast, pray, meditate, and do all of these things so you can be protected and so you can get messages because of the most high might be sending you a message to prepare now he could be telling you to move and leave and go to another state you know what i'm saying just like people get mad on any platform because you're speaking about spiritual things you can't make this shit up so it's best to listen and do what you need to do it's not for you to be living in fear you prepare for everything. You always expect good, but always think about the evil that can come too. Everything ain't going to always be good and gravy all the time. But I know my spirit has been uneasy at unease, and I feel something is coming. I don't feel right at all. I don't feel right. I'm not sleeping right. I'm thinking a lot more. I mean, of course, I'm learning to control my mental, um, my mental shit that goes on with me. But all I see now is just a whole bunch of souls just about to be judged. A whole bunch of death is coming. A whole bunch of people being homeless, no food, nowhere to go, nowhere to run. People that sitting in high positions will be knocked down. And I'm talking about for people who just been living a lavish life or just always had a good day their whole life. Never been through nothing for people with silver spoons. Never, people who sleep. It's so many people that I seen about to go. It's not even funny. And the fact that I couldn't identify some faces is what scared me most. And it's funny because in that dream, as I'm running... Somebody had to save my son and find him and bring him to me. That make no sense, bro. You can't make shit up, bro. <laughs> you can't make up a dream. But y'all better prepare y'all self because nobody know what's coming to you. No one knows what's coming to them. And the way these people are dying today... And it's and they dropping like flies. That's just it's it's some, it's some scary shit. It's some scary shit. And you also got to think about people who are very spiritual who not getting his word out, who's not speaking of the Most High, or you know what I'm saying, don't believe in the Most High. You have to spread these messages and let people know so they can prepare. That's what the book said. Nobody said listen to everything that's written in a book that somebody else wrote. Because best believe, I don't believe every damn thing that's written in no damn book. Especially when it's in black and white. That shit been changed more than one time. But you do need to have faith. You do need to repent. You do need to be consistent in your prayer life. Stay protected. Stock up on everything that you need. I had to tell my people last time. Look. Shit finna close. We finna be on a lockdown. Go get food and shit. Motherfuckers didn't even know. You know what I'm saying? You you gotta pay attention, bro. You can't keep getting up thinking, oh, I'm, I'm straight. Life's gonna be the same. It'll never be the same after this shit. And for all y'all in denial thinking... People are conspiracy theories because they speaking up on stuff before it happens. Don't you think that's a gift from the most high? Not everybody got that gift. Be thankful for the messengers or the people that's on these platforms that warn you and say something to you. Because a lot of people don't care. 
But take heed to what people say. Nobody says you have to take action. Just sometimes it's best to be quick to listen and slow to speak. Just be quiet and listen. If more than one person is saying the same thing is going to happen or something is going to get worse and they're having dreams and we all having prophetic dreams and shit like that. It was in the Bible. You will have dreams of what's to come. Bro, take heed and listen and get prepared because shit is about to hit the fan. Period. <laughs> Ain't no game. Like continue to fast and pray. That's the that's that's pretty much it. That's all you can do. And like another thing, people always say we're in the last days. My mother used to say that all the time, and it took me a while to understand. We are. You got money that's the root of all evil. You got family and friends in comp secret comp competitions and jealousy and envy of each other. Sister going against sister. Mother going against uh, uh, son or mother going against father. It's everybody. It's against each other because your, your souls are about to be judged straight like that. If you ugly on the inside, your ass is dead as grass. You dead as gone. And like, um, what, what was I about to say? Um, and all this being able to come kick your door in and give you a shot and shit like that. Be careful with things like that. Just because you don't experience it. In your neighborhood or it's not going on with your family. It, it's things going around in this world that you can't see. <laughs> and you just got to face it, period. And like I said, I've been feeling so anxious. A little bit of depressed. Worried. Like, of course, not in fear, but. I've been very unbalanced, and it's because I can feel some shit is about to come. And if you are living in fear, my best advice to you is conquer fear. Fear is the unknown. Never fear the unknown. And the Most High didn't give us the spirit of fear, so you shouldn't fear nothing. Just have faith, because faith without works is dead. And you got to have faith. You got to show you have faith, like... You can't walk around here and say, I'm a woman, a man, a God, and you don't have no faith in you living in fear because of what's going on around you and what's going on today. Have faith and keep going. But a lot of shit is about to change either for the best or the worst for some people. And um, like I have um, been talking about shots and shit. And like I said in another video, allegedly people who are getting vaccinated are losing their life. And you have to pay attention to things like that. Never uh bully or put down a person because of their beliefs. If you believe you should get your little shot, go get it. If you don't believe, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? But nobody should be forced. And just with this whole situation alone should show you more is about to come. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure they gonna up and mandate the mass restrictions and shit like that. Ain't no telling what's gonna happen. Then school finna start. I'm most definitely going to be protecting my child because it's ridiculous. And it's like, since this shit, I have anxiety and depression and borderline personality disorder. And my anxiety has been through the roof. Like, that, this shit affected me so much. I don't be around people like that, including my blood. 
And it's not purposely done, but I'm protecting my energy. I'm trying to get downloads, messages, and uh, things that's uh, of the world. It's, it's getting to me. Like I'm in the world, but I'm not of the world. And it's like I need to be where I'm at right now to protect my energy. So I know what's going on. If I'm out partying and in the streets all the time, doing drugs, going out, doing this, I ain't gonna be able to focus on what's ahead or what's to come, because the it's saying in the in the word, you have to have a, a sober mind. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge, meaning you don't know anything. You're ignorant to the fact you play blind to the fact of what's going on. You're oblivious. You make excuses. You living in fear. You're not gonna face what what is and what's the truth, and it sucks. And for people like that, the most high will make you suffer. And your ass will be took the fuck on out of here. Straight like that. So, like I said, you must fast. You must pray. No matter what. And I know I'm not the only one that sees visions or dreams or things that's to come i'm not the only one feeling this way like something don't feel right and that's on a day-to-day -day basis with me you know what i'm saying yeah i can snap out of it but what do you do when you can continue to feel something is not right in your spirit in your intuition and a lot of people going to be put on buses and some more on buses on, in camps. Ain't no telling what's going on. They don't have the military for nothing. And shit like that. They don't got all these buses and all these bunkers and all this. There's so much shit out there. I ain't even going to speak on it. It's just you have to pay attention to what's going on around you. And the shortages in food and things like that. Like one time, I went to a restaurant to get some chicken. <laughs> and they was short chicken. So I think um, I asked for like 10 pieces or something like that. Well, we only have four. All this is in the word. Play it family, all types of stuff, war, everything is happening today and people are still in denial and going to work, clocking in like a robot and a zombie, clocking out, living in lavish in a nice ass crib, out blowing money in the streets. Bruh, there's already shortages of food. There's, uh, there's been factories and uh, places that have uh, closed down due to shortage of food there has people are losing their businesses their jobs their homes their families are broken up the cases are going up you can't really travel like that some people allow you to do this and some people allow you to do that it's too many motherfucking people in power trying to run shit that's the main problem there's only one person who run everything and he the alpha and the omega so all these people that's in power they're eventually going to fall, bro. And karma is a bitch. And it all depends on how much evil and bad you can put out into the universe. And that's how long you're going to receive your karma tenfold. So if you've been doing evil for 20 years, your head's going to get 20 years plus more. I don't know why people think that a spiritual ad, uh, ass whooping ain't the worst whooping that you can have from the most high. That's the worst whooping that you can get. Just like I thought. The narc dude that I was with would not see death. Hmm. <laughs> Lied to me? Shit. You can't tell me that ain't nothing better, ain't nothing higher than this, or there ain't no God or whoever you want to call the person that you believe in. You're not finna tell me that. Or that you atheist or that you don't believe or because ain't shit happened to you, you don't believe shit. Well, I'm going to tell you, I do. I believe in all that. <laughs> I'm with all this shit. 
And my ancestors and my spiritual guys, they with all this shit too. I'm ready for all the smoke and whatever else and whatever the fuck you throw at me, bro. I'm strong as a bitch, bro. And the fact that I got out of not one relationship, but more than one relationship with not people who abuse me mentally, physically, and emotionally, and I'm still here and my child, you got to be kidding me. I would never think in a million years that something that somebody did to me horrific, they would do the exact same thing, if not worse, to them. You getting a feeling of being drugged. The exact same way you did me, but worse. A woman did you how you did me. You got drugged. Your brains, brains were splattered all on the motherfucking concrete. That could have been me. But instead, no, nah, I'm protected, bro. Shit, I lost my daddy at, at seven from cirrhosis of the liver. So, at the age I am now, I've been through a lot of shit. A lot of shit. May not have a lot in the material world to show you motherfuckers. Because y'all materialistic motherfuckers, you'll never know what's inside a motherfucker. Because you're too busy looking on the outside, picking with a motherfucker. Oh, what you got? Oh, this is that? No, nah, bro. I've never been, been materialistic and I'm not going to start. But I've been through a lot of shit, bro. And I know a lot of shit. And I don't have a diploma. Not because I'm dumb or by choice. But when you move to different fucking places and they want you to know their arithmetic, that's how that go. So I'm going to leave that shit at that. But it's always... Uh, somebody out there that just doesn't believe and that shit really disturbs my spirit. You know what I'm saying? Like people mad because you say good rising or good morning or, you know, some people are like God didn't wake me up, you know, things like that. How the hell? Okay. So who woke you up then? So let's just, let me give you an example. All my breath is going at my body now. And while I'm doing this video, this me. So, what the fuck you got to say about that since nobody woke you up? You feel what I'm saying? Or nobody was there to, you know what I'm saying, give you breath in your body. That, that makes no sense to me. That people don't believe how they should be believing. Your faith, all that shit should be stronger than anything and everything that's around you. You ain't got no faith. Everything you get will fall. And then if you're praising something or someone more than you're praising the most high, he will step in because our God is a jealous God. So he see you um, loving somebody more than him or putting people before him. He don't come in and destroy all that shit because your main focus should be him first. He's supposed to come before everything. Like I said, he's the Alpha and the Omega. Before you do something, you should ask him if it's okay. Before I start this job, the most high, is this is this a good decision for me? What can I do for you today? Do I need to relocate? Is it in your willpower or um, should I be starting this spiritual journey or this YouTube channel or this, this business, this, this job in New York or buy this vehicle? If you're just getting up and going through your world swiftly like you've been doing year after year after year after year, you ain't thanking the most high or your spiritual ancestors and you ain't doing no good deeds like on this side in the box. You got everything that you need. You doing this, you doing that boom, boom, boom. In this box, what you doing to give back? What are you giving to people? Are you just taking? What, what do you give to people? What can you offer to people? So you're supposed to know in this time and day and age, it's 2021, what the fuck is going on around you? People is selling their motherfucking soul, and they people knock the fuck off. Motherfuckers are part of cults and shit. Fires, you feel what I'm saying? Come on, man, shit is crazy. And motherfuckers still can't see walking around with their eyes closed looking like Ray Charles. Like, come on now. You got to wake up. Ain't nobody that damn sleep. Not even me. Like, you got to get up, bro. 
there's a lot happening around you every day. Even if you can't see it. Eventually, it'll just all be, no, it won't be pretty, not too many humans in the world. <laughs> With AI out, ain't, ain't shit, you gonna, <laughs> come on now. Motherfuckers don't even want to work no more. All this money giving out. It's, it's a lot that doesn't sit right with me that don't make no sense. I just pray the most high keep me and mine protected, bro. And when shit do hit that, I'm chosen, bro. And it's time to get the fuck on out of here. God, I've been ready to go, bro. <laughs> you can look at me in my face and tell, bro, on some real shit. And this is my right hand up. He can take me right now. They say, be careful what you say. But when you chosen and you've been through so much shit and chosen motherfuckers get taken advantage of, they go through the worst shit, bruh. Ain't shit here, bruh. This is hell on earth, bruh. Ain't nothing here. Not nothing. And this is a spiritual realm and people still don't know this is a spiritual battle. They don't even get that. Motherfuckers think it's it's physical. We don't wrestle against flesh and flesh, bro. But I know when I go, I'm going to be at peace. Because all the years of my life, I haven't experienced nothing. I don't find joy in nothing here in this day and time. Besides the fact that I created a life, I have to take care of that. <laughs> Get my word out. I still have testimonies. I still have stories of abuse that I haven't spoke on. After I do what I need to do for the most high, I know I'm. it's, it's, it's going to be that time to get the fuck on down. Because I don't, I don't find peace here. The only thing that made me feel good is helping somebody else. Saving somebody else's soul. Teaching people about love. You feel what I'm saying? Guiding people in the right direction. And never shoot the messenger because you don't like what a certain per what a person has to say, and they say it this way or they're cursing. You're caught. You're judging. Don't forget, judge, and you shall be judged. Even I have to learn that. Oh, I don't like the way they talking. They so put your motherfucking emotions aside. Put them holes in your pocket, bro. First of all, when a motherfucker curse half of them goddamn words, ain't no goddamn curse words. A bitch is a female dog. It's all how you use things. They got y'all mind so fucked up. You <laughs> you don't even know what the fuck a cuss word is. That shit ain't real. Whole garden too. Come on now. Motherfucker. Two word. Come on now. First of all, think back. Who made these goddamn words? Get the fuck up out of here, bro. Come on. <laughs> and now I see why that's why uh, certain parents allow their kids to do certain shit. Because when you woke and shit like that. It's 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 just so much shit, bro, <laughs> on my heart and my mind, bro. That that is 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 not. It just don't make no sense. It just don't make no sense, bro. Don't make no sense at all. But I don't like the way he or she said this. I don't like the way they put this message out. Oh, so and so didn't say this. Oh, how are you holy and you cussing? Let me tell you something. God had a sense of humor. I ain't met God a day in my life, and I'm pretty sure none of y'all ass ain't unless it was in a dream. Or you died and came back to life type shit. Or you had a spiritual awakening. Whatever the case may be, your story and my story is different. But he had a sense of humor. He didn't look out for every fucking body. Everybody can't fucking go. You feel what I'm saying? So, with that being said, don't never critique or tell a motherfucker how they should and shouldn't speak, how they should take care of this and that. Because you're not in their shoes. Keep your advice in your motherfucking pocket. Sometimes it's just best to be quiet. And I've learned that for quite a few years. I've been maintaining and taming these goddamn demons and these goddamn emotions. Because I'm emotional as a bitch. <laughs> Don't let shit fool you because I talk like this. I'm emotional as a motherfucker. I just know how to keep that shit fucking in line. You feel what I'm saying? Because you can't let your enemy know you weak as fuck. That's how they come steal, kill, and destroy, bro. So you got to have somebody, some type of backbone and be strong, bro, and know that your ass is protected at all costs. 
But I didn't want this message to didn't want it to be no damn 30 minutes. I just just had to get it out. I just keep having I just kept having that, that same dream. And since I had that dream, that's all I've been thinking about. I had this dream in an old location I lived in. Move to another location. I keep waking up having that dream. What's in that dream gonna happen? What well, it don't matter how, when, or what day. <laughs> I'm not the most high. I ain't got no specific dates or times, and he don't either. But when shit shake, it's gonna shake. I just hope that everybody have enough time to wake up and do what they need to do. Because it would be it will suck if you get left behind in this lifetime. Because don't forget, when we die, we're not dead. We still live. Our souls still live on. So if you think ain't no greater place than this, you got to be out your fucking mind. If you thought that this shit right here is it. <laughs> I'm bored as a bitch. I don't find joy in shit. But what I do, and that's talking to motherfuckers, helping somebody, uplifting somebody, giving somebody my last, saving souls, showing people how to love, all shit like that. That's my sole purpose. All this other shit for the birds, bro. I used to do housekeeping until people thought they was going to talk to me and run me and think you're going to talk to me any type of way and pay me when you want. No, I set that shit straight. I ain't no slave for nobody. So that shit did. You know, a job for, that would suit me perfect is helping somebody who is Older or younger, going through some shit. Somebody sick with illnesses that I can look after. You feel what I'm saying? I'm an empath. I do shit that deals with the heart. I operate off of my heart. What my heart tell me to do, what the heart want, the heart get, I do it. And no, I don't do things because, oh, I feel sorry. No, I don't never feel sorry for a motherfucker. I don't never want you to feel sorry for me because I ain't no sorry ass person. And best believe, Whatever I need, I get it. I think it. It come to me. <laughs> and the things that I don't need, he don't give them to me. And that's fine. I'm content with everything that I have. I used to sleep on the floor. Mattress on the floor. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Mold. <laughs> no TV. Rats and roaches. Mice. All that shit, bro. And people looking at me sleep in that environment, looking at me at my lowest, lower self. Nobody grabbed my hand and said, let me pick you. Let me raise your bed off the floor. Let me give you this. It takes for outside people to do things like that. And it wasn't on the floor because I wasn't able to take care of myself. But mentally, I was fucked up. I was becoming a single mom. <laughs> 